All right, we've got a leak. A coolant leak. A coolant leak. And usually it'll load up with loads of carbon in there. Yeah. But as you can see. It's so much money there that all this is costing, but. Someone's had a filler on the crack here. Yeah. See how long it takes to start because it, you just primed it there. Stop there, I just wanna make a recommendation. These guys are the ones that are fixing my truck and they absolutely going through the pain of starting from the beginning to get to the end to make sure that my truck is in good state to be start doing the whole stuff. So if you're looking for somewhere to park and some amazing mechanics and people that do look after your stuff and try not to rip you off, this is the guy to come through. Come and have a look in here, it's based on Besco. Follow their page on Instagram and follow them on YouTube as well. So go and have a look at that. I hope you enjoyed the video, so let's crack on with this. As I said before, it's really cold today. The truck is going in now, we're changing the loops, oil, cranks, everything, all the, all the oil that we have to change. Oh, got engaged, change that, and everything is freezing. Look at that. Oh, ice frost. All right, we just opened the cab now. Anthony just been doing that trickly thing up and down. Oh, apparently, that table was changed, but we'll double ask again and just make sure the table, the injectors, um, Perry told me the injectors was they, they he changed it before I got it. Um, just made sure like things are on place and not breaking down. All right, we got a leak. Coolant leak. A coolant leak. Yeah. It's not that light from being frozen. I don't know. How you know it's cooling? Well, but the smell of it. I can see it's red. Yeah. It smells of coolant. So All right. From up, up what a stupid question for me to ask. <laughs> you know what you're looking at now, <laughs> Cleek. Yeah, go. It has been serviced recently, though. Has he? Yeah, because the, the, the pump, uh, So it wasn't that bad? No, there's some gasket and some uh, orange screen. I'm all worried about that girl, won't we? Let's go have a look at that. All right. Uh, you see it dripping? So, you're that saying pipe. that's a colour leak? Yeah, that's that a pipe. pipe. That pipe's leaking there. So we got a pipe, it's got a leak uh, of coolant. Is that, a, is that a difficult job? You have to replace this whole pipe here, so where it joins it up. Yeah. And it clips onto there. We'll have to get it ordered. I'll get Mick to come in and order it and it clips on there. So All right. three pipes in there and then there. So because um, it's leaking colour now, um, I need to change the whole pipe. This is one of the things you gotta do. If you buy a second hand truck, don't matter where you buy it, just go and get your stuff. Go and get fuel filters, go and get your oil filters. It's filters in here that I have never seen in my life. <laughs> they shouldn't lift over. So look at that. That is about, I don't know, it doesn't say how many litres it is, but it's quite a big one. So I think it's uh, it's about 50 litres there. Sorry, 48 litres, you said the truck takes, and that should be about 60 litres containing. Look at that, it's pretty much full. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, obviously you can see that. <laughs> it just keeps dripping like crazy from that. So I failed to change, and then we put it all in, and that should be about it. This part, the, where it's leaking there, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to wait until the parts come in, and That's it's not gonna be tomorrow. Be to, tomorrow. Tomorrow morning it'll come there. So Anthony said that the parts will come in tomorrow. It's changing tomorrow, but I'm gonna be in work as well. If you get another fuel filter, so it's a pre-fuel filter. All right. For the engine one. So there's a dry filter there. Anthony just took it out. He's gonna put a brand new one in. I don't know how much this is going to cost me, but this is going to cost me a fortune, all this. So do you say it was... It's been serviced yeah. regular because this is your spinner filter. Yeah. And usually it'll load up with loads of carbon in there. Yeah. But as you can see, there's only a tiny little bit of carbon on the edge of that. So it was serviced like, yeah, what you say, like... Uh, he said miles ago, nothing less, less than that. Less, less, the, the truck was serviced less than 30,000 miles. 30,000? Less yeah, less. so Anthony, you say less than 30,000 miles. There's always a peace of mind if you don't know what actually the truck has been through. Even though that I got told, but I want to have that peace of mind myself knowing that everything has been done, no matter how much it costs, because it can cost you more when you're in the road, the engine breaks down. Well, that's all the time. That's like cake, that. <laughs> that's all the carbon in there. Yeah, so that's not too bad. Oh, no, that's not bad. I've had them. You had a waste? Yes. 
It's so much money that all oh, this is costing, but right to the Anthony just give me figure <laughs> and I was like, okay, <laughs> this is bad. Let's pull that. Oh, he got a massive crack there. I didn't notice that before. Yeah. yeah. Shit. All right, Anthony just took this part because in there, just follow part just to change the air filter. So he's just dealing with it right now. It's quite a basic thing to deal with. He's just struggling that, just doing it, I think. <laughs> oh, so today's the last day that we dealing with all this, and that should be the end of it. Then straight for painting as well. So, because Anthony's such a good mechanic as well, he's just like looking after me and like showing me everything that's going on with her. So, someone's had a filler on the crack here. Yeah. So instead of replacing it, just like just fill it up. Body filler. Fiberglass. Just fiberglass it. Good, a good body guy to fix that, no problem. And I have a good painter that will be coming up in the channel as well. He's a mint painter. Just wait until we start doing our, our videos together. And honestly, you're going to like what he's done as well. I'm going to show you everything he's done. You want me to go and get a rag? I get your rag. You just drop that in there, so I need to get him a rag. Rear axle. Rear axle, yes. Find that wood. So the metal was, uh, it's always, oh yeah, I can see that. Yeah. yeah. So that's metal. Yeah. So Anthony said it's not too bad, so I can, can chill out for a minute now, because every time we take something off, it's something wrong. Oh, it's not too bad. No, it's not too bad, no. Mm. Oof. That's not even that bad. So what are, we, what, what are you saying? A little bit of metal in there. Yeah. Not horrendous, but worse than it did. Yeah. It's not too bad, that. So Anthony, just give me an update there. Doing the gearbox oil. He just told me they used the deers, one of the deers oil you can put in the truck. <laughs> oh, that's the death lock, that one. <laughs> Don't be doing that. <laughs> that would be a big mistake, that. Yeah. Every 10 pumps of this. Yes. Can we so how much you put in the diff lock? In the diff. Probably. In the diff, sorry. 12, I'd say. 12? Yes. 12, 12 litres. So every time he pumps up and down, there's a couple of quits there going. All right, just been away and Anthony just been pumping this. <laughs> and it's like no ending. I'm at 18 litres now. 18 litres? Yeah. How do you know when it's enough? Because it'll start leaking out the, the level hole there. All right. So he basically took like the whole thing. Yeah, the whole thing was full before I came. Yeah. Pretty much nothing left there. So that that takes like 25 left, say. Anthony needs to do the output filter. Uh, that's one of the things that I want to change because a lot of people say add blue filter is the one that gives the most problems out of absolutely everything. Let's see. So where is uh, so that's the one. So when it was painted, we paint over that, and then that cap gets changed. Add blue filter apparently. Oh, hasn't got any scratch. It doesn't look like it's been changed or anything. So Anthony's gonna get changing this as now. I think he painted five years ago. Yeah, so that's how long it's not been changed. So. So it's not been changed for five years ago. This is a tired one to take off. Oh. This is one of the reasons why I wanted to do the, uh, all, all the all the filters and stuff. Because I don't know why it's been done and what, what hasn't. Because oh. so apparently uh, the ad blue gives you yeah, loads of problems yeah. sometimes. Yeah, so that's a good thing to change from that as well. Just oil for the threads. All right. A little bit of oil. Just hand tight. Yeah, just nipped up a little bit. Yep. And that's how you change it that easy. So I can do that next time myself. Anthony's showing us how to do most of the things. Like we can save a little bit of money by doing it ourselves. So something to look into. All right, we have changed most of the stuff, which is actually amazing. But this is all the oil filters, the air filters, and all the, the filters basically that you gotta change. And like when you doing service and stuff like that in the truck, but I'm doing a full service. Everything to the front, everything to the back another filter there so i want this to be absolutely spot on so i don't have trouble even though that you know that well everybody knows that when you got a truck anything can go wrong with it but this is a peace of mind for myself for when i get in the roads for my surprise and just come back and then he just brought three big bottles of oil so For a normal car, this is how much it takes. I'm 
Anthony just put like a full one of them already and then put in that one in as well. Then you get to so much oil, we'll take you like, how long will you say if you're there from the front? How much, how long will it take you? I don't know. 20 minutes. Well, 25 minutes. Yeah, probably 20, 25 minutes more. We haven't finished yet. He's another one going in. This is 39 litres. So 39 litres. Yeah, and how so much? Far. And then put the other five from the front. And then, and then I'm going to fill the rest from the front one with it too. All right. That's three of them. And then one full of them. 38. And then need to put, still need to pull more on the cap of the front there. <laughs> it's just absolutely unreal how much oil a truck takes. All right, all the oil has been changed now. Anthony is going to try and start it. And let's see how long it takes to start because... Oh, see how long it takes to start because you just primed it there. Hopefully it goes straight away. Let's see. in the cooler like every time you put it down goes up so, <laughs> there again you see it like going up <laughs> then you sound healthy the only problem that we need to get sorted is that leak that's got there because every time you pe press the gas or the pedal down it just ejects out as you can't see it there and so he's having a little look at it and find out if there's anything wrong with it. It's really loud in here, sorry about that. I oh, know. It's cold. Yeah. The engine, so it has a control unit on that exhaust brake. It's controlled by this unit here. Yeah. And then that controls the exhaust brake, so the exhaust brake holds on just to warm your engine up. We're learning something on this. Like, if you need a t shirt, you know where to come. Just come to JNM Morgan's and then ask for Anthony, he'd be able like, to take you around for a little tip. We're just putting the last bit on now and put the cap down. That's gonna have to get sorted tomorrow. Um, that should be the end of it. See how much, how much are we missing? Bang on there, there's yeah, your max in there. So which one is the max? There. Just there with my thumbnails. So we're just trying to figure out how much juice and oil we're gonna pay. And this is a rough estimation. How much did we put on the in the rear axle? So 20 litres, gearbox, 16, and there's 73. 43. So that's 79 litres, and let's put a let's litres. let's say five five pounds, six pounds. Six pounds fifty. Alright, six pounds fifty. Oof. Just on oil, that is 513 pounds 50 pence. All right, let's close this. We finished now. Let's drive it out now. All right, let's drive this out and get out of here. Tell you one thing, it sounds beautiful. Just gonna go and pack this bad boy now. Feels pretty good driving you on truck to be honest. I'm not gonna lie about that. I just need to go and park it over there. Alright, all we gotta do now is just pack this up. And another thing is we're pretty much in the red now, so we're gonna need fuel in this sooner than later. So alright, the truck's parked. So next to do now is just get the car out. This is how well make a street in here, and this is something that you will get if you start parking here. So you get people DXD, and then we got this in here, truck in UK. That is absolutely mint. All right, I'm just gonna get this car out, reversing that, and uh, be me done. Put it here for a second. Let's move our truck to where it needs to be. Actually rinsing. Listen to this, listen to this. Wow! Wow! <laughs> Woo! Yes! I just want to say thank you for supporting. Thank you for being this, commenting, speaking your mind. Don't matter what you want to say, just put them in the comments. Like, subscribe. Honestly, this is the best thing that's happened to me in a while. Um, 
even 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 this is a Scania. Look, <laughs> gonna keep that for the piece of mine as well. So Scania V8. The journey has started, and we're gonna carry on doing this. Um, honestly, I just appreciate so much all the support that I get. One thing is, we got it. We got to finish this. Clean all this. It needs a very good clean. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it. That's only from Robbie the mats. So clean that. Clean everything. And the wall of that. What can I use to clean it? I'm gonna have to get a drill and all that. But other than that, it's been it's been all right. So next video cleaning the cab and cleaning in the bottom as well so everything is going to get smashed out and um, hopefully we'll be ready to carry on with the series and then operator license is on the way now so i'm going to explain about that as well so see you in a bit right.